Good morning, Pisces. How are you? Good morning and happy Sunday to you. Many blessings on this lovely day. Pisces, don't forget to wear your mask and wash your hands or don't wear your mask, but make sure that you are um, looking at your surroundings and how far and all that stuff has got to go. Okay. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you a million for all of your support for my loyal loyalty, Pisces. Thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase my jewelry. Okay, these are my jewelry. This is my bracelets, ankle bracelets, um, uh, my charm bracelets. The men bracelets right here. All the men bracelets right here. And let me show you. This is all my men's bracelets, okay? Pisces men's bracelet. It was very nice. Okay, so um, I got this one too for Pisces. All right. Um, I got candles. I have um, uh, rocks. I have um, salt baths, I have all kinds of sprays, all kinds of stuff to clean your house, take a bath in, soaps, everything, okay, I'm very spiritual and that's what I do, okay, my readings are very spiritual and um, why don't you test your own journey, why don't you test you for a change, you have always tested everyone else, you have always given to everyone else. Why don't you give it to yourself? Why don't you waken up to you? Why don't you learn who you are? How much you are worth? Okay? Learn your boundaries. Learn how far you can allow anyone to come into your space. Wake up to you. Know you. Love you. Honor yourself. Believe in me. This has been a journey, a long process of me. Awakening to me. It wasn't easy. It wasn't. If I can tell you that it happened overnight, I would lie to you. This has been an awakening to me. I had to waken up to myself. I had to learn to love and understand myself. I cannot love anyone if I can't love me. I had to waken up to the spirit that lives inside of me and that gave birth to me and that planted me in my mother's womb. Going into this was not easy, but it was worth it. And for that, I want you to know God is good. And it's not easy. And if anybody tells you it's easy, it's not. It's just like when people say, go to meditate, learn how to meditate. Meditate is not easy, okay, at all. But you learn, and each day you learn something about you. And that's what matters. What matters is that you learn it, okay, that you know who you are. And that's what matters, all right? Um... People ask me all the time, how did you get to where you're at? I got to where I'm at because I had to learn to love myself. I had to learn to deal with me. And it was not easy. It was not easy looking at you in the mirror. It was so easy for me to point my fingers at everything that was wrong in my life and everybody that did something to me. But it was hard as hell for me to look at myself. And that's where it starts. To go within you. When you know who you are. When you know what you're about. That's all that matters. Then you be able to give love the right way. And remember one thing. We do hit the bottom of the barrel. Why? Because we don't know who we really are. And so we look for others to fill that space. 
But when you know who you are, you seek yourself and no one else. And everything else that comes to you is a plus. And that's who you know. Best of all is you, your worth, the love that you have for yourself. Let's get moving on with this. People ask me all the time, how did you do it, Miss Lisa? How did I do it? Because I had to learn to believe in me. To love me. To share my space with God. And everything came to place. And I don't know which way that you can awaken into or find your awakening. Because each and every person has a different way to awaken it. It's not one of us that has all the same. I can write the instructions down. I can tell you everything. How I did it. But your way is the right way. Not my way. Remember that. I study a lot of people. Went through a lot of Buddha. Went to going in the flow. Living for the flow. Being still. I went through it all. But when I decide to awaken to what's in front of me every day and what goes with me every night, what's me? What's me? It's not the rules that you set in your life for the person. It's not who you're going to be tomorrow, who you're not going to be. It's not about that. It's about awakening to your soul. In your soul purpose. And I can't explain it to you. And I keep telling you this. I really can't. Because what I awaken into. Was so amazing. And it was all in front of me. All the time. It's just that I. Was looking for it in everyone else. I look at all the mistakes everyone made in my life when reality, it was me making it in my own life. But I didn't know where was the boundary, where was the line. Where can I draw it at? Because I kept doing and doing and doing and doing and put myself last. Got beat up, abused, mistreated. Did I go blame it into everything that I went through as a child? But who was I to know that the only person that I've always need approval from was myself and no one else? Wake up, people. Wake up to yourself. Face yourself. Face your fears. Okay? It's being a boss is not easy. Controlling your destiny is not easy. Okay? But you know the right way to go. It's when you awake to yourself. And I'm trying to tell you, awake. Awake to yourself. Know your purpose. Know your worth. And everything in life will fall into place. When I mean everything, I mean everything. Because everything you need is you. People tell me all the time, but Miss Lisa, I want someone to share my life. I don't want to get old by myself. Baby, let me tell you something. If I grow old by myself and I'm alone for the rest of my life, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm never alone. Because I'm always with myself. And I don't have a problem doing that. I want you to know your work. You need to wake up to yourself. Realize who you really are, your worth. How to love yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself. All, all the vows you make when you marry someone, make it to God. If you make your vows to God, to death do us part. 
That's what it's all about. Through the thick and the thin, through the good and the bad, God would never leave you or forsake you. And I'm trying to tell y'all this, but for some reason, a lot of people don't understand. They're still searching. And you can search all you want in everyone else. But the only person that you need to search in is yourself. And if you ask God to help you, it's not a human being in the world, including me, that can lead you to the way, to where you need to be. Do you understand that? And somebody need to hear this. All right? Let's move on. Let me shut my door. Because Woody is screaming. Okay, here we go. I want you to all know how much I love y'all. Okay? I want you to know that you're worth everything in the world. Wherever I go, I'm going to teach a class of meditation. And when I teach the meditation, the first step I'm going to teach is to come out of your head. Come out of your thoughts. Stop letting your thoughts run your life. And that's the most important thing in your life. It's your thoughts. Your thoughts will control your heart and everything else. Who's in charge? Isn't it you? Or is it your thoughts? Pisces, the first three cards is you, God, your spirit, your ancestors, whoever has passed over. Who wants to bring you? Who wants to bring this generated? The information you are seeking. Okay? You got two cards that fell out. The first card you got is the highest priest. And it's you. Look at that. It's you. You got the open book. You got the apple. You got the water running. You got the knowledge. You got the secrets. You got it all. It's like opening a box. And everything in that box is you. It's you. You are the highest priest. You were born like this. And as soon as you find out how powerful you are, You're going to know your worth. Because believe in me. The one thing that never will leave you is your spirit. Ever. The flesh can go, but not the spirit. You need to know. Go deep in yourself and marry your spirit. To death do you part. Through good, through bad. Marry your spirit, not a human Marry your spirit in everything else, I promise you, will fall into place. I am a witness. I'm living it, and I can't explain it, but I am. Do you understand? Pisces, you in the house. The next card you got is the Knight of Pentacles. You have planned everything. You laid it out. You cleared the land to plant your seeds. And it may not be moving the way you think. It ain't moving. But behind the scene, the universe is moving it for you. You got all the plans. Again, it's showing you with a plan. And again, the highest priest has the book open. It's a plan, baby. You can't build anything without a blueprint. Even when you have a clear piece of paper. Before you put the pen down on the paper, you got the paper first to write, to draw. Whatever it is, it has to be a blueprint. 
I don't care what it is. Your mind is a blueprint. When you wake up in the morning, you think about what you're going to do. And that's what you do. I pray to God that when you wake up, your blueprints is God. Because without him, you have nothing. The blueprint of your life is what you're doing right now. You're planning everything. You're seeking it the way you want it to be. And things may not go your way right then and there, but it will. You must go within yourself and believe in you. That anything and everything is possible through you, through God first of all, and everything will happen. Because whatever it is that you need to discover, it's an open book. You know what it is. You've been there. How many more times have you been there? Many of times. Because you have a heart of gold. But everything is revealing itself because you already know what it is. You have a plan that you want to master at it. And in order for you to master at it, don't be discouraged because you don't see it moving. You see it bare. Know that it will grow, but it depends on how you feed it, how you nurture it, how you take care of you. That's what it means. Do you understand? It may be feeling like it's not moving, but it is moving. This person, this man is sitting there looking at the blueprints. He already cleared the land. The horse is being still. Nothing seems to be moving in this picture. All it is is a clear land with a purpose on that land. And it's going to be okay. And do you understand what I'm talking about? I hope you do. Okay. Loyalty. Okay. Potentials. All right. Approaching everything with an open mind. All right. Planning carefully before taking action. You understand? But then get going with it, all right? Pay attention to all the details. Wait for the perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who's watching over you will make sure it works out for you. Do you understand how important it is? How important it is to believe in your spirits. And the spirit that lives in you will never deceive you or leave you will never. Do you understand that you are making this plan, looking at everything in details? And don't move fast because when you move fast, you make mistakes. And do you understand? Take your time because it's a lot that you are going to reveal and a lot that you know. But you sit there looking at it, watching it. Because you know what you know. Let me tell you something. It's no greater love than the love of God. And if you know it, and if you believe in it, you will have it all. Here, here, because you are alive. See, when you're going, you're going. You need to do it here. And make sure this time you do it right. I'm a living witness. Remember how far I come. And you have not seen nothing yet. Everything I said I would do, I'm going to do. I said I will open a foundation for my mother. I will do that. I said I will help people. I will open up a home for kids. I will do it. I will walk up in the hospital this year in that floor with the kids with you, leukemia, you, whew, leukemia, cancer on that floor. 
and I will give each kid on that floor a hand game this year, this Christmas. I will do it. Because that's what I said I would do. I don't forget nothing I said I would do. And I will do it. Because everything God has blessed me with, I must get back. Everything you do for me, God gives you foes after foes. For every dollar you give me, God will give you triple that. Because anything that touches me turns to gold. And don't you ever forget that. I got a plan. And I will execute it. And I will hire so many people in so many levels. And you're going to be right here to witness it. Because my YouTube is my world. No matter how big I get, YouTube comes first. Because that is me. I would never abandon what I do. Because this is opening the doors for me in a way I've never imagined. When I needed it the most. And I value it. I appreciate it. And I respect it. You got a plan. And you're going to execute this plan. And whatever level you are on in your life, you are coming to an awakening of knowing your worth and knowing who you are. And that's what's important here. You got to play. You must look at it all through details. And don't let nobody cross you and tell you what they're going to do or want you to do. Because if they come up to you and say, I want you to do, then it is a problem. The word is, if someone comes to you with a plan to tell you what they got to offer you and then turn around and say, I want you to do this, then that person is a damn liar to you. And don't you forget that. If you are seeing someone that is telling you, I believe it when I see it, leave the motherfucker alone because you ain't got to prove shit to know that body. But to yourself, you don't own the only approval you need. You don't need their approval. People ride and sleep on your ass. People eat off of you all the time. I believe in loyalty. I believe that if someone is with me when I'm rock bottom, the least I can do, the least I can do is put my hand out when they need me the most and give them what they want. And that's exactly what I did. As I move along the way, I asked my son, do you want to move in my home? He said, no, it's too far. It's in the wood. I'm scared all that bullshit. I don't give a damn. So you know what? One day, real soon, he will look back and say, I want it. I want to move there. And I'm going to be the first to say, no, you're not. And that's my son. He would not be living in this home. Why? Because it's not good enough for him. But when he turn around, it's going to be a mansion. Because I will redo it over. And that's when he's going to want it. And the word is no. If I should die today, trust and believe in me. People leave all their shit to their kids. Not me. I will make sure I leave it to who needs me the most, which are the kids in the hospital, the homeless, the things that I'm going to open up that needs to keep running for as long as my tree of roots will live on. I got something to leave behind. It will always remain there. I'm not worrying about my son. I'm worrying about who needs me the most that God is leading me to. And I'm looking at everything we're fine to pick. I'm looking at the people. I'm looking at what they want for me. I am that bending machine that my grandson said I will be. And people will come to me with many, 
many needs, but I will look into your soul and know who needs me the most and who is lying and who is not. And that's what I'm telling you to do. Look at everything with a fine to pick. Baby, you know me. You know me from you too, but you're going to get to know me for who I will become. Remember that. Okay, let's go with it. The next card you got, the musician. You got all the tools to make it happen. Okay, this can be good and it can be bad. The musician likes to play tricks. The musician likes to be making things get ghosts. Because you got all the tools to do magical things. Okay, a lot of magic can happen with the musician because that is the person that can make it happen, they can make it not because it's all a delusional how you see it and what you want for real and what you want to make look like is disappearing what are you looking for? you got, let me say it again the highest priest, Pisces you know it, you got the book open, you got the apple, you got the water running you know it all you know the good and the bad you keep your own secrets most of all because there's something here that is very secretive to you that you know. At the same time, you got the blueprints out. The blueprints are telling you you're clearing up the land. The land is clear. You're sitting there to find out, well, where am I going to put this at? Where am I going to put that at? But I see this. It's clear. It has nothing on it but two rocks and a big-ass coin. Somebody's getting ready to pop shit the fuck off. Somebody is clearing land to build shit. Somebody is clearing land to grow something. Somebody is clearing land to say, I can do this. Remember, people want what you got. People want everything about you. They know your worth. They know that you are that gold queen. They know. They know it. Do you understand? Do you understand? Thank you, Miss Renee. Thank you. I honor everything that God has given me. I will not be selfish. I will return it to the world. Just like he gave it to me, I will do back. And that's a promise I make out. The more I grow, the more we all grow. That's what I'm about, growth. That's why my channel is called the spiritual channel, damn it. I don't play games. I don't have time to sit here and play with you. You don't want to grow? Then move on. The next card you got, precision. What it's telling you, magic is alive in your life. Magic is alive in your life. Come on now. you the highest priestess. Okay? What you need to be successful manifests. There it is. If you believe it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. If you believe it. It's all about you. Don't you forget that. Okay? You got Mercury right here with the musician. You know what Mercury does, right? Turns off shit, turn on shit. A lot of shit goes on in Mercury. Problems, you know, want to play little games here and there. You don't know. You, If he got you all up in it. Nah, we ain't doing that. We don't do this shit right. Right? You got them pinnacles. Earth sign. Anything that's earth, you can build. Anything that's dirt, you can plant seeds on. The trees, you can make houses. Okay? The dirt, foundations, don't you forget that. The plants, you can eat. 
everything that's outside is what you need. Do you understand? Let me let you know, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is about Pisces building. This is about Pisces knowing they're worth going for it, doing it. With all the tools in the hand, you got the highest priest from the door. Okay? And that is huge. And then you got the musician. And in between that, you got the queens. Baby, you got it going on. Don't blind yourself to the truth. Look at the truth. Don't let nobody cross you. Have you thinking, oh, you can't. You got a lot of people riding on you, baby. And that means riding on you. They want what you got. And it ain't about another person. It's about your growth. And don't you get it fucked up. They know. They know what you are worth. People don't see other people anymore about how much I love you. People don't look at you like that. People look at people like what they got going on. That's how people, the world has come to. Okay? It's not about love anymore. It's about what you can bring to the table and what I can bring to the table. And most likely it's about all about what you're going to bring for them. That's how crazy motherfuckers are. Okay? Come on now. Talk to me. Let's see where you at right now in your life. Somebody got a plan, but they want to make sure Pisces make it happen. Ain't that a bitch? All right? Now, where you at right now, you got the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody see you winning it all. And somebody is like, no, Salty, watching you. Watching you. Happy as a motherfucker. You are happy, but they watching your ass. Look at that. Seeing how this Pisces is doing this. What is it that Pisces got so much going on? They don't understand it. They just know that you're doing it. All right? An unwise choice. An unwise choice. An unwise choice. Listen to me. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who has questionable motive. Avoid that. An unwise choice. Avoid people who want to ride on you. Because somebody here watching you. All right? And you know what, Pisces? We'll be the ones to want the motherfucker that, that are watching us for our coins. That's the motherfuckers you are. You don't want a motherfucker that has what you got. No, you want somebody because they telling you shit and you really don't see it. And now they asking you to come to the table with your shit. Ain't that a motherfucker? I ain't got time for that. Mm -mm. See, I don't give a damn. I leave it all behind and start over. Like I said, I'm not planning on being here. So I'm not playing with no damn body. Okay, I ain't got time. If somebody don't want to get on the same boat I'm on, then you, you get ready to get left behind. Because I ain't got time for that shit. I don't want to hear I love you. I just, I done played the love game. The, the word love, people are just using it and trashing it. And I don't believe it unless you show me. But no, they want you to show them. Ain't that a motherfucker? See how quick the tables are turning? Because they want you to show them. And I ain't got time for that shit. Honey, every day, all day, I'm into me, my body, my soul, my spirit. And I'm focused in on what I need to do. Okay? My mind is going. And it ain't going about another person. It's going about what I need to do when I get there. And God woke me up this morning and showed me many beautiful pictures. And I don't know why, but I started looking at these pictures with many ideas. Did I know what I want? I'm just trying to figure out how big, how small I want it to be. And I'm going to do it. And from there on, it's going to kick off. And I tell you what, my name will live forever. All right? It ain't nobody coming to my, uh, where I'm going to be cremated looking at me. No, honey, I'm going to be in the ocean 
where ain't nobody going to see me cremated. I'm in the water. I don't need no, no, no holes or no nothing. I need the water. And they will remind and will be reminded and remember because everywhere they sit down and put a spoon in their mouth, my name will be there. My name will live. It will live on. And I promise God that, that I will do that before I leave here. I will break many, many, many yellow and pink ribbons. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better know your worth. Know what you're about. Know what you want. Don't let nobody crisscross your ass. Oh, but he's nice and oh uh, yeah, but no, he got a lot of red flags. And if you don't, if you see it past that red flag, it's telling you you're getting ready to self-destruction again. It, it, you better start looking at this. Okay? You don't sit there and laugh. Oh, well, he did this and I think, isn't that crazy? No. You need to take heed at what you see because motherfuckers don't change. It gets worse. Okay? You got the nine of cups. Right? Somebody's watching you winning. And you got to make that wise choice because seems to me like you are uh, trying to go with your feelings and not with your head. Okay? You fucking up. All right? Wish come true. Your dreams become reality and magical time in your life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will work out. And that's what I'm telling you. Check it out. You see somebody right here looking at you right there winning. But does this person love you? Are you making the wrong choice because they're telling you they love you because you're so fucking lonely that you want to jump on the first thing that's kind of feeling good to you but got red flags? Nah, we need to leave that motherfucker alone because what you got going on, you're going to get if you just wait a little bit more, you can have it. Okay? Don't jump on the first thing that's moving that's making you feel good. Because it's a feeling. It's just a feeling. All right? And that feeling is going to roll right off. And then when that feeling rolls off, then reality hit. And then they fucking playing games. You got so much to live for and so much to choose from. Honey... Let that motherfucker be where he's at alone because you got a whole lot more to choose from that's going to be very successful in your life. Okay? Now, sometimes these people don't understand. They just don't fucking get it. Okay? Confrontation with other caused by opposite opinion. Okay? Somebody... And you are going back and forth about both of y'all, what this and what's wrong and what's right and all this. I ain't got time to go through that shit. I said one more time, I ain't got time. I'm not going to waste my breath. I'm just going to look at them and know that I need to exit my ass out the door. Real nice and simple. I ain't got to say shit to somebody. I just stop calling. I just stop seeing and I still keep moving. I don't have to deal with shit. And that's the part y'all don't understand. You got so much to choose from. You ain't got to sit there arguing to somebody about whatever is right or wrong. They got their own opinions. Who gives a fuck? Okay? Walking away from drama unless the situation really is worth your time. And then stand up for yourself. And that's what's the problem. The more you sit there and argue with a person, the more you say you wrong, they right, the more that's too much, too much, too much. Let it go, let it go, let it go. All right? Because everything, then after that, everything, fire. Okay? Any, uh, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courage, and optimistic. No, now is the time to take action. Do what you have passion, what you're passionate about to do. I feel like, here you got Gemini Libra Aquarius. Somebody is watching you grow. They know that you the shit. They know that you the fucking shit, okay? You got all these choices because then you got the cups, right? P 
Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You got the cups. You can choose from any one of these. You don't have to sit there and put up with somebody that's watching you grow and got a whole lot of shit to say to you um, about whatever they feel, which is fucking ridiculous to me. Because if it's about me, I ain't got to argue about with you about me. I don't have to argue about you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it with you or without you. I'm not going to sit here and fight, all right, to make you stay. You can go the fuck out the door. I don't give a fuck, okay? Keep moving, because guess what? My time is short, and I got, my time is short, all right? And I'm going to say it again. My time is short, and I'm short, and the only thing that's big in my motherfucking life is my pockets, and I ain't got time for nobody to want to play short, 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 when I'm going high, 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 high. I ain't got time for that shit. That's little talk. What, what they, they ain't going to bring shit to the table. Ask them. They a fucking liar. They ain't got shit to give to you because they want to keep telling you about what you, they want you to do, but what they want to do? Nothing. Okay? They want to argue with you. Baby, is it worth it? It ain't worth my time because that's too much energy coming off of me. Now, here, fire Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Then again, you got Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You're growing. You know what your worth is. You know what you're about. Okay, your growth, can't nobody stop your ass. Nobody can stop you, okay? You starting small and you're going to end big. So why would you let somebody stop you? It ain't no reason. Now what's coming behind you, like I said, you got the nine of pinnacles. Baby girl, you got great bonds, you got the coins. Your, your fist is made out of coins, Gold coins, don't get it twisted. You got a bird, you got it all. As far as the eye can see, somebody has great vibes. Somebody can be owning a, a, a winery. Somebody can be making wine. Somebody is going to be huge at what they do. The fields are going to be planted. I don't know what they are. Uh, um, coffee beans, whatever it is, it's going to be fields and fields and fields and fields. As far as the eyes can see. Don't give up on yourself and nothing that you got going on for nobody, all right? Because this is what's in the back burner that's going to be coming to the first, to the front, okay? Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Hard work that has led you to an luxury life. Buy yourself something special. Happy and successful. Self-employed. Enjoy the solitude. And I'm going to say it again. Check it out. Now look at this. Remember you was plotting. Remember you was uh, putting a blueprint out. Remember you had cleared out the land, but nothing was moving. That was what already passed, right? Check it out. But look at you now. Everything is green. It's grown. Do you understand? Now, you got there, Earth side, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got two cards that fall out. The first card is here, the seven. See, whatever it is, baby, you got it going on. And check it out. You're going to have a lot of people that it's not going to like what you do or the moves you're going to make. But who gives a fuck? It's all about you. Don't worry about who you're leaving behind. I don't care what I'm leaving behind. I don't care if it's my son, if it's my sister, my brother, my grandchild. I got to go. Because at the end of the day, these people don't really give a fuck about me. They don't care. They want to live my life and tell me what to do. Even in my fucking house. How the fuck do you call somebody and, oh, well, you need to take him off of this. It's a time that he need to be off of this. In my fucking house on a Saturday and Sunday. When it ain't no school, you still trying to run my motherfucking house with my grandson. That's fucking ridiculous to me. On top of that, you got people and their family trying to tell me what to do. Let me tell you something right now. I tell them all to go fuck themselves. You crazy bitch. They all crazy to me. They like fucking police. It's like all the police are around me. And they ain't nothing about people hating on me. Damn. I've never seen somebody try to control somebody's house. Most people that get people to watch their kids or grandparents, they be happy to motherfucking. These motherfuckers ain't happy enough. They want to not. The baby ain't with them, but they still controlling you. What kind of shit is that? 
I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. Because guess what? They're going to learn a lesson. A big, huge lesson. That I don't give a fuck. Okay? They all going to learn a lesson. They want to play with me? They want to fight me? I got something for your ass. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And guess what? I don't give a... I, I'm telling you. When I get ghosts, they're going to see that shit. They're going to wish I never did. Because they've taken advantage of me too fucking long. They don't even know how to respect somebody. Or respect somebody's house. I don't go to nobody's house telling them what to do. I don't never do that. How the fuck are you going to bring my, send me, my grandson here, and tell me what the fuck to do? What the fuck? On top of that, I got your mother and everybody else. Fuck all y'all motherfuckers. Fuck my son, his wife, man, everybody. Fuck you all. I don't give a fuck. I had enough of these motherfuckers. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how somebody can watch you in the store and then before you even get out the store, get in the car, they done call your, my grandson to ask him, is he all right? It's, but, but he's in my care. Let me tell you something. When I see my son today, he going to get it. Because I'm going to let him know about his wife and her fucking mother. I don't give a fuck about none of these people. They don't understand. I don't give a fuck. If you think I am not taking care of your child good enough, then guess what? Maybe he don't need to come here. If your mother want to keep tabs on me, maybe that bitch need to watch him. What the fuck is going on here? I don't get it. I'm sick and tired of the shit. Okay? You ain't going to sit there and be like, oh, well, yeah, she did say that. I don't give a fuck about the bitch what she said to you or called you or want to question you so that you can call my house and, and ask my grandson to see all right. I never heard of no such thing. But I've been fucking watching this little boy since he was born. Longer than her mother has ever done. And I don't give a fuck. I hope somebody is watching this and show her this shit. Because I don't give a fuck. All right? Show her the shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here and they're going to wish I never fucking left. Now you get your damn mother to watch them for real. She'll play a part of this life. A big part this time. Because I'm sick of the bullshit. You're not going to question me like I'm not good enough to watch him. I've been watching him way before your own mother has. And it's a problem with me. Listen to me. I'm done. Check it out. That's how people look at y'all. See how they controlling. Now check it out. You got it all going on. All of it going on. And I know that you can relate to what I'm saying. Because people are something else. And they will try and test you. To the extreme. And it's it something. is so crazy. I'm so in tune. I already know. That that lady was going to leave the store. Ask me where's my grandson. Get in her car and call her daughter. She probably called her daughter. While she was in the damn store. Then her daughter called my house. And ask my grandson, how's he doing? Is he safe? I done, I am so fucking pissed off that when I get there to drop my grandson off, I'm going to have a long talk in front of my son and his wife about her mother and how she called my son to make sure my son was okay. My grandson, I never, never in my life, and I'm about had it, and I'm getting ready to set it the fuck off before I leave. Yes, I will. I know I got a lot of fucking haters. They fucking act like they like you, but they don't fucking like you. They don't like nothing about you. As a matter of fact, they fucking jealous, envy, and everything else about how you work in your way. And they are family members, friends, and whatever else. They fucking hating big time on your ass. All right? Stand up for yourself and for your beliefs. Have confidence. Courage. Those in power. Okay? Challenging those in power, and I will fucking today. When I go drop him off. Yes, I am. But also choose to battle wisely. Yes, I am. Because I'm coming there very nice. I'm going to ask her. Your mother called you in front of my son. Sit down here. You want to have a meeting? Sit down here. Your mother called. She want to tell you to check on your son. Because I was in Walmart without your son. And then you call. And he's talking about, oh, yeah, she did. I don't find that shit fucking cute. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it with my son. You are what people look for, Pisces. You the one. And it's got to play with who you are. You're Pisces. They look at you like you wicked, like you're a witch. Like you, 
you know, like, ooh, she's living this weird life. She's very strange. No, you strange. Y'all strange. We ain't strange. Y'all strange. Why? Because we know how y'all are. We know how much y'all really fucking hate on us. All right? Y'all strange. But y'all, oh, so it's different um, um religions, different factors and all that. I don't care. I'm not trying to fight nobody on their religion, their factors, how they live, who they are, what they look like. I don't care. Okay? Because something here is placed apart on what they don't believe or they think you're crazy. And that's how the world sees you. Delusional. Oh, yeah, she says she's going to. Oh, yeah, but mm, hey, you better look at my videos, baby, because ain't, ain't nothing I done said that I done done. And I'm not saying I'm the first. I don't give a fuck about being the first or the last. I know I'm the first in my life. I'm the first person that's doing it for me. I don't care about who else did it, what they did, what they didn't do. Don't worry about what people say about you or who's doing it and who ain't. Worry about what you got to do for you. Don't worry about somebody wrapping their head being Muslim. Don't worry about somebody coming at you with only their eyes that you can't see their mouth and all. Don't worry about if they dress like an Indian. Don't worry about if they um uh, um um Catholic, Pentecostal. Don't worry about who they are. Worry, don't even worry about where they come from. Okay? And that's the problem. They looking at me like, oh, she wants to move where? I mean, but she's from here. Motherfuckers, let me tell y'all something. We are in America. Y'all need to know what America stands for. Red, white, and blue. It stands for you going anywhere around the world and making it bigger than anybody will ever make it. That's why they come here to follow their dreams. Well, I'm going there to follow my dreams because I know my money is worth way more than it is here because the government is taking all your fucking money. Every part, they make sure you ain't got shit. And that's the way it is. The richest get richer in this country. The middle class and the poor struggles. And all you do is work every day to, to make sure that the government gets rich off of your money. Where I'm going somewhere where my money is my money. Okay? Yeah, and it rises. Yeah, that's how stupid I am. I got something to teach y'all asses. Right? And everything, and I'm I'm telling you, counseling you to the truth. I'm speaking the truth to you. Don't let anyone, and I don't care who it is, your family, your kids, your friends, try to take you off your path. Because you got a lot of people here watching you, hating on you, talking about you on your back. Who gives a flying fuck? Because I am doing me. And they coming to you because they want to know about everything you doing. They want you to talk. I'm about showing you. That's what it's about. Pisces, know your worth. And don't let nobody cross you. Nobody. The high fit right here, baby. Taurus, you got a lot of um, earth sign. You got a lot of... um. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of movement here, but a lot of people in the way. Know your worth. People are in the way. They need to move out the way. Okay? Now, Pisces, check it out. Let's move on with the reading. Now, do y'all understand? Because y'all need to understand. Let's move on with a different deck. All right? <laughs> Now these deck, I've been putting them outside every as soon as I do the uh the three card reading and all my readings, I put them outside with the universe and I let them sleep outside and bathe in that sun. Now this is a new deck that I got, okay, and I let it sit outside. And since it's new, you know what a new deck you get, it is hard to shuffle. All right, so it says. Soul journey, and that's what I talked to y'all this morning about your soul journey. That can't nobody take you there but you. And can't nobody teach you that. You got to learn it. You got to find the way to it. Look at that. Look how powerful it is. Your soul journey will take you many directions through the storm, through the dark. 
But it's nothing to but nothing to teach you. It's teaching you that everything that is crazy around you is only there to open up your eyes. Don't fall asleep. Be awakened to your soul. Okay? You got a time. It's a time for everything. But when you awake, you need to see what it is about. Now, all of these cards are falling out, all right? It says soul family. You know your soul family, don't you? You know your soul family. You already know who is truth to you. You know it. You don't need nobody to tell you, okay? You got people around. You got people in your spirits. They want the best for you. And look at the light. The light is so deep and shining within you. Everything you need is you. And I'm going to continue to tell you, everything you need is you. Don't look for it in anyone else because it lives in you. All right? Focus, it says. Then I say focus on you. And don't focus on no one else or nothing else. Nothing matters. Nothing matters but you. Because you got that soul family, and you searching on you or on a journey, and that's what my YouTube is about, self-serve journey, okay, to grow, and it says you got the soul family, you are my soul family, and then it says stay focused, and that's exactly what I'm planning on doing, look at that heart, look at the beam in your heart, look how it's telling you to focus, and this is you. Look, 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 look at this. This is you. This is you. That is you. And look at all of that behind you. It's so deep. If you only knew how deep it is, honey. Oh, my God. You would be so happy because I'm witnessing it. It says, let go. Cut them off, baby. Cut anything off that does not matter. Let them go. Okay? Let it go. This is the fire sign to let things go. And when you let it go, the fire in you will light up. Do you understand? When you let go, you will see the fire in you light up. Because you are everything. And when you see, when you see, and this got um um love in it. It got love coming within your heart, and then it got the fire, okay, which is this. The love is the triangle upside down, which is Pisces, and the fire is in you. So it's something here, this fire and air. I mean fire and water, right? It's fire and water. I'm gonna say it again. It is uh Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, and then it's Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. It's something here that is huge. It's fire and water just telling you, hey, baby, you better look at that because it's deep, All right? Then you have transformation, and that's what you got to do. You got to have that transformation in you, but it's about you. Can't nobody help you but you. And that's what you need to know. Okay, can't nobody help you but you. It's a transformation that you're going to go through. That can't nobody help you but you. And when you realize the transformation that you need to go within and seek and find, you're going to be huge. Huge. All right? It says creating space. Create space. When it says create space, build your altar. Have a little altar. Create it. Okay? Create space. Clear out what needs to be clear. Make space for the new. Right? And that's what it's about. I like these cards. Wow. This is deep. All right. And I thank you. Um, Tawana, this is your cards that you gave me. This is it, baby, and I'm using them today. All right, this is your cards that you gave me. 
and I am using them today. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. Thank you a million. Chica, stop it. Chica. Chica. If I don't tell you to stop again, you're going to get pow pow. Did you hear me? Do you understand? Now. This is the tear the, the card that Tawana sent me. Smith, thank you so much because I am about to use these babies for the first time. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I am delighted to use them. Come on, baby. Talk to me. Talk to me. They're new, so you know, I got to put a wear to these babies. I gotta put a wear, but I guess I'm gonna have to pick them because come on now, talk to me. Talk to me. Okay, so this I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pick one. It says the root chakra. Okay, grinding. Okay, as a, uh, as a little boy there. Full of fire, got snakes, it got everything an Indian, an Indian tribe. Okay, I am, okay, acring into the uh, psychic, the physical extension, and I resent in a perfect human with the uh, physical world. You are connecting with the human in the physical world, in your spirit and in the physical world. Okay, I am on earth as I am in heaven. A root down and, and beyond to the world around you. You connect with the life-giving energy of the earth. Okay, in loving, releasing lower vibes to, to the universe. Okay, to be transformated. I am earth. This is you, Pisces. You are the earth. You are the root of it, okay? You are the root. And you need to know that you are the root, all right? You're the root. Let's move on. Uh, let's grab these cards because um, I got so many chakras cards, honey. And re remember that on the 28th, I will be giving y'all the gift. Whoever makes that first comment. Let's go move on. Okay, so you have here um, mystery and mis okay, mysteries and mysteries of life. All right. This is like the star. Sitting there wishing. And all your wishes are going to come true. All of them. Right? It says, um, when you fear, it says, start today. It says, everything that you're going through is teaching you to walk. The angels are guiding you. They're guiding you. They're holding your hand. I know that you fear it. I know that it's a fear to you, the, uh, the unknown, oh, which way I'm going. But look at this. The angels are guiding you. They're the ones holding your hands. They're the ones that are making sure that you don't hurt yourself. Okay? They're making sure of this. And when you believe in it, everything happens. But you must believe. It says... The chakra, the light of body. You got all, look at that. You lit up like a tree. When you believe, when you believe in the higher power and you live it, then you will understand you. And I can't explain it. You know, I mean, people got classes. People uh, want to teach you this and that, but um, 
I tried everything, and maybe it can work for you, and it probably will. I don't know. But I know one thing. It never worked for me because I searched and searched. I went on YouTube's. I went, I went to uh, meditation classes. I searched it all. I looked all over for this. Let me let me learn how to do this, and let me learn that, and let me learn this. But the whole time I searched, it was nothing that I was searching for that a human could have helped me. Because the only thing that helped me was God is when I went and found what I was looking for was my damn self, okay? And when I woken up to that is when I became okay. And I'm telling you, it was a lot of walking. It was a lot of um, outside. I don't know, maybe the way I live at was a reason that I live the way I live around all these trees and all of this alone. Um, I, I guess that living alone and being in the woods really, really was what I needed. And I studied and studied and looked and looked everywhere for the answers. And the answers lied in front of me. Now, to each his own, you may be going somewhere where they're going to teach you. Maybe you need to read books about self-searching um, or, you know, all of that. Because I remember watching an Oprah show as a young child um, back when I was in school. And it, she just used to just, like, fill my heart up with her stories. But... Then I realized she's searching for the same thing I'm searching for. Okay? The way. The way. The stillness. The flow. Okay? That's what she searched for. And that's what I've always searched for. But I'm glad I got it. All right? It says, a fork in a row. It's a decision that needs to be made. Okay? A, a decision that you need to wake up to. Okay? Time to take a nap. And when you make that decision, you're going to rest at peace because you know you made the right decision. All right? It says everything that glitters, all that glitters, the universe is watching over this. Look at the universe watching over that. Over that mountain of gold with mask. All right? People want to um, uh, ride on your gold. All right, but everything will be revealed to you. They want to ride on your gold, honey. Ain't that some shit? They want to hit the goal. It's like they searching for that goal, and you are the goal. And that's what they want. They want to ride on your goal. All right? They searching for it. They want what you got. All right? It says, go with the flow. Follow that. A childish, wonderful, filled with life. It's like you are going to be doing stuff that normal, like, like you used to do when you was a child. Enjoying life to the fullest. Going wherever the balloons are taking you. Somebody probably get on those um, parachutes or whatever it is, but somebody getting ready to do things. It says, do you believe in magic? Do you believe in magic? True magic is abundance in your life. And that is what? Musician. Mercury, honey. You got everything there, everything. Keys, uh, birds, parts, uh, 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 um, boats. You got it all. Listen with your heart. Listening with your heart. I trust the message I receive from my heart. Okay, do you see that? That's you. The universe is whispering to you. Listen. Stay still enough to know and listen. All right? Be still. Be living for the moment. Be in the moment. Okay? You can't live the past. You can't live yesterday. You got to live right today. Be still. All right? Oh, my goodness. It's too many. Let's go. Spirits, give me... Throw them at me. What? Okay. Spirits, a uh, spirits of a place. A spirit of a place. It's like you, look at this. You yourself, the spirit is living around everything. When I mean everything, on the trees, on the ground, on the, uh, uh, it's like you are the living, the living spirit here. You are. You can have anything you want because you are living it. 
Do you understand that you are living it? If you die today, how you going to live it? You got to live it while you can. What is wrong with y'all? Live it. Believe in it. I mean, come on now. You, you, you learn how to drive a car. You was at first, you were scared, right? You took that test. You did everything. You studied. You passed the test. Then you got the, you got the card. Then you got the keys. You put it in there. At first, you didn't know everything you had to learn, even though you study it, but doing it is two different things, okay? Because then you got your hands on it. It can be scary being in a road where other people driving, they don't know how to drive, and then you're a beginner, and then you get into accidents, okay? Global, you are going to be global. You're going to be known around, honey. You, you, you got it going on. You got everything. Okay, you got everything in your hand that you need to have. Everything. All right. It says, listen. Maybe you listen to music with the words in it, but you need to listen. Okay, be still enough and listen. Do you understand? Because the answer arrives when you listen. All right. Now, I know this reading's along, but um, the thing is, I done got new tarot, a new cards, so I added on. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honest discussion that feelings about each other. You're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with this person, but this person don't even look like they're trying to listen to you at all. Do you see the way that man is acting? Do you see how you are? Again, please, please, fuck that shit. Nah. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. The person don't even want to listen to you, but they want you to work on this partnership. You need to wake up, baby. Fuck that. Okay? Um, um, unrequired love. There is not attraction and chemistry to keep the... There's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this romance going. The person don't even want to listen to what the fuck you got to say. They are... It's telling you... Oh, well, you tell them, but give us a chance. It can work. And that motherfucker is like, he don't give a fuck. Let the motherfucker go. All right? Or either you're trying to uh, talk to this person. This person ain't even listening to you, but he wants to be a part of you. But then you sitting there saying, nah, he kissing my hand, but damn sure, it ain't enough here to keep us together. See? See how shit is? Here, he didn't want to listen to you. All right? He didn't want to listen to you. But he want to show you love. But I see your hands wrapped up around him. You the one that's trying to hold on to this shit. But then I guess you woke up and you said, it ain't enough here to keep us together. Okay? Forgive. Okay? Peaceful mind and heart. Free from the past. That's what I'm talking about. Free yourself from motherfuckers that don't deserve your ass. All right? Essence, it seems like it is um, the universe intelligence is telling you to stay connected to your spirit. Because the spirit here, you see that? You see that? It's like um, it's like a tornado. The eye, the middle of the tornado is white. But the outside of it is taking everything with it. But the eye of the tornado is what you see, the light. Okay? Hesitation, past heartbreaking, a broken trust, afraid to move forward. Somebody here wants you to forgive them, but you need to know that God is the one that 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 eye, that middle of the, the hole, that eye is that that tunnel that's telling you, honey, you need to keep going, leave that shit alone. And that's what it's saying. Let it go. You're worth so much more. Maybe you think that person's meant to be for you, but it ain't. And if you if you got the question in it and you already seen red flags, I don't give a fuck how much they want you to go there. I won't even go. I won't go nowhere with them. I know that it ain't worth it. And it's just the way it is. Okay? You are nude, honey. You are discovering yourself. Your worth. You bear your heart enough to somebody. They didn't appreciate that shit. 
okay? Look at you. And once you let go, look at this shit. You will be you will be fine. Everything you want, wealth. Okay? Everything is coming around you. You just got to make sure that you got the right one because talk is cheap. All right? Look at this. Opening the doors. To what? To your abundance. All right? Because what? You have to go within yourself. And once you went into yourself, you got the tree of life. You got everything you need, which is you. You will open up the doors to everything you need. The doors will open up. You will probably get a new house, move it to a new apartment. It's something that is opening up, and it's a new door of possibilities, a lot that's going on in your life. Pisces, this is your reading. If you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. But you need to know, if you see seeing red flags, if somebody's saying something that you don't like, there's a lot of haters out here, family, friends, and all. <clears throat> They don't believe in you. Don't even believe that you can do whatever you say you're going to do. But if you need to remind yourself how beautiful and how important you are, you need to come into an awakening. And a lot of you are coming to this awakening. Okay? But you need to know. If you feel like there's red flags around you, why would you want to continue with something that's not worth your time? Okay? Not worth, I don't give a damn what they say they got. <clears throat> what they say they got and where they at in their life doesn't amount to shit. All right? And that's, I'm telling you this because I'm saying this to you right now. Um, I don't want to get into presidential shit and all of that. But an example, you may think somebody got all of this money because you see them on TV. And come to find out they ain't got shit. Not a damn thing. Okay, but you see them acting on TV. And they ain't got shit. All right? <coughs> Remember one thing I'm going to tell you. Especially for these people out here selling drugs and all that. They come back from jail. They think they're going to jump back out in the streets and sell drugs. It's a new kid in town, honey, that is taking over that. I mean, things change by the time they asses get out. Would they want to keep living that life? That life ain't promised for their ass. They too damn old to keep up with them young boys doing that shit now. Okay? But they still want to live it. They need to get over shit. All right? And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Everything people tell you, you need to look at it. Because there's a lot of red flags. And it's telling you it's not meant to be. Do you understand? I'll talk to y'all later. One love. If you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. All right? This is a general reading. Take what fits you and leave the rest behind. I'll talk to you later. Bye.